Story time about when my best friend set me up to get sexually assaulted. Little background. I got bullied a lot in school because girls are just mean. And boys, too. I also did modeling and acting. So kids were really mean about it. I didn't have any girlfriends. I mostly hung out with my twin brother and all of his friends who were super nice to me. Let's call her Anna. Anna was the mean girl. Everyone wanted to be in her good graces, so people would just do what she told them to do. She was funny, and she was pretty much friends with everyone. She eventually befriended me. Things were going just great at the beginning. But then rumors started. I didn't know who started them, but I definitely didn't think it was Anna. I went over to Anna's house one night and she was really mean and I'll do another story time about that. But a few weeks later, she invited me to a party. I show up and it was definitely not a party. It was only a few people. I knew two of the girls that were there, but the rest were total strangers to me. She tells all of us to go to her garage. But once we got there, she tells everyone to run out and she locks me inside the garage with this random guy that I don't know. Then he starts trying to kiss me and grab at me. Part two is up. Then he tries to kiss me and starts grabbing at me. I pushed him away, ran to the door, and started pounding on it. Well, guess what? I could hear Anna and the rest of her little friends laughing. I begged her to let me out, and she said, but he likes you, he just wants to get to know you. And then they laughed some more. And the guy told me that he liked me and that he's noticed me around school, but that he never got the chance to talk to me. That's when I tell him, but you don't know me and you're trying to kiss me. Then he said that Anna told him that I liked him. I told him I had never even seen him before. Then I started yelling really loud and pounding on the door. Anna opens the door and tells me to shut up because her mom is going to hear. They just kept laughing. I run to the phone and tell my mom to pick me up. I did not have the courage to tell my mom. I confronted Anna and asked her why she did that. She said I was exaggerating and that they were just trying to have some fun. The following week, I'm in class and I can hear Anna telling a group of girls what had happened. And she was talking loud enough so that I could hear it told them that she planned the whole thing and that I fell for it. And worst of all, she started telling everyone that I lost my V-card. Part 3 is up. She told everyone in school that I lost my V-card all thanks to her. I also overheard her saying that I was so stupid for having fallen for a little plan. Then a girl from my class comes up to me and starts telling me that Anna was talking to some boys, asking them to make anonymous phone calls to my house. I got home that day, I got a bunch of phone calls. I answered the phone and a boy on the other end said that he was going to do terrible things to me and that he knew where I lived. I started getting weird notes in my locker. Anna would start talking bad about me right in front of me, loud enough so that I could hear. And other people in class would laugh. That's when I decided that I needed to call her mom and tell her everything. I started by talking to Anna's sister. I told her everything and she told me she wasn't surprised. Later that day, I called her house and her sister made sure to answer the phone. I told Anna's mom everything. She made Anna call me to apologize. And I could just hear it in her voice how much she hated it. I asked her why she didn't like me and she really didn't have an answer. Anna actually started following me on Instagram and sent me a DM back in 2018. I didn't answer. I think she's working at a call center now or something like that. Story time about how I found out my sugar daddy was stalking me. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. I signed up to a sugar daddy website last year. I lost my job because of COVID. Just started my own small business and things were not going well. I also helped my parents out with money because I didn't want them to be working during COVID. I signed up to a website and instantly I started getting messages. One man stood out because he was very active and owned several businesses. I told him I didn't want to meet up because I just wasn't going to do that, but also because of COVID. He agreed to have a phone conversation with me and then eventually he offered me $5,000 a month. This was more than enough to help me me and my parents out. After that, I was basically his online companion. He would text me and I would text back. We went out to dinner a few times, but because of COVID, we kept our distance. It was truly the perfect scenario for me. Then I noticed that he started to get really clingy. If I didn't text him back right away, he would get upset. One day, I got another message from the Sugar Daddy website. Another man was asking me to go out to dinner twice a week, and he wanted to pay me $1,000 for this. So I said, of course. When I told Sugar Daddy number one that I'd be busy two days out of the week, he got really mad and asked me where I lived. I told him I couldn't tell him part two is that's when my sugar daddy asked me where I lived. I was not about to tell him where I lived. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. I told him I couldn't tell him. And he got really upset and offered me $2,000 more, which means that he would be paying me $7,000 a month. Then he said that he didn't want me to be with any other sugar daddies. At this point, I hadn't even told him that I was approached by another sugar daddy. So how did he know that I was talking to another one? I accepted his offer of $7,000 a month, but this only made him even worse. He would call me all the time and ask me where I was. And he would constantly ask me where I lived. He noticed the change in me and that's when he offered to buy me a car. A Mercedes to be exact. I didn't know if I should accept or not because I knew it would make him feel like he had more ownership over me. I told him that I wasn't sure if I should accept the car because of his behavior. Then he said that he would buy me my own apartment. I felt really creeped out so I decided not to answer his phones or his messages the rest of the night. Two hours later I'm laying in bed and I hear a really hard knock at my door. It was him. Part 3 is 
My sugar daddy starts banging on my front door. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. And he didn't know where I lived. I look through the peephole and I tell him to leave. That's when he shows me a wad of cash. He tells me I can keep it with no strings attached. I said no, and that's when he started calling me names. He started yelling really loud. I was hoping my neighbors would hear and call the cops. In order to calm him down, I opened the door and I let him in. Big mistake. He asked to use my bathroom and that's when I grab his phone. I saw on his camera roll that he had pictures and video of me. he had been following me around for months. I started calling the cops, but that's when he came out of the bathroom. I asked if he could stay over and I said yes. I was so scared. We're supposed to have dinner tonight. The cops said they can't help because he has a story time about how I caught my dad doing the dirty with my best friend. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. My mom and dad have been married for 30 years. My dad started modeling when he was really young and he still does it to this day. Every single time that I would bring a friend over to my house, they would always talk about how cute my dad is. It never annoyed me at all because I was so proud of my dad, but it really bothered my mom. So out of respect for my mom, I would just tell my friends not to say anything. My mom is definitely the jealous type. My best friend and I have known each other for about three years. She was the new girl at school and we became friends and ever since then we've been inseparable. She always comes over to my house, we have sleepovers and my family really likes her. My mom even takes her shopping with us and buys her tons of stuff. She always comes with us to get manicures and pedicures and facials as well. A few years ago my mom told me that my dad was unfaithful to her and it really upset me. Basically my mom couldn't trust him at all. And ever since then I've kept an eye on him as well. One day I came home early from work. I see my best friend sitting on the couch with my dad. She was kissing his neck. When they saw me they got up from the couch part to I see my best friend kissing my dad on the neck. And when they both saw me, they jumped off the couch right away. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. My best friend said, oh, you're finally home. And my dad literally just walked toward the kitchen like nothing had happened. My best friend walks toward me to give me a hug, but I stop her straight in her tracks. I asked her why she was kissing my dad's neck. She laughs and said, of course I wasn't. And then I said, I just saw it. And she said that she was just thanking him for all the stuff my mom and dad do for her. Right, I was not buying it. My dad didn't even look me in the eyes after that. I decided not to question her any further, but I was really angry with my best friend. After that, I was totally convinced that there was something going on between them. So I decided to set a trap. I told my mom and dad I would be at work all day and that I would be home really late. And I told my best friend the same thing and that I wouldn't be able to hang out with her. I knew that my mom would be at work all day, which meant that my dad had the house all to himself. I said bye to my dad, but I sneaked back into the house and hid in my room all day. Then I started hearing voices. It sounded just like my best friend. I opened my dad's bedroom door and there they are on the bed doing the dirty. Disgusting. Part three is up. I walk in on my dad and my best friend doing the dirty. They had no clothes on and they were doing it in my mom's bed. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. Because I am so intelligent, I recorded the whole thing on my phone. My father had the audacity to yell at me and tell me to get out of the room. I said, no way. Best friend starts dressing herself frantically, begging me for forgiveness. Then my dad tells her to keep her mouth shut. Well, I don't hesitate for one second and I send my mom the video that I just recorded. My dad pulls the phone away from me and throws it at the wall. Then he starts trying to negotiate with me. He said, if you don't tell your mom i will never do this again i promise told my best friend to go downstairs and wait for me on the couch my dad starts putting on his clothes and by the time he's done my mom is home of course my mom went off on my best friend telling her how ungrateful she was she asked my dad for a divorce a few days later i get a message from another friend she tells me that she also did that with my dad since then four other women have told me the same thing they all go to college with me so none of them are underage thank god my dad is begging my mom back but she doesn't know what to do we're both just in shock <laughs> There's no way home, and I have no mercy There's no way up, so I'm going down Still I keep on living, so you pull me closer